Hey guys, uh, this is Nirmal for Technique and today we will do the benchmarking test for the Moto G. So Moto G is an entry level, uh, I mean the mid-range uh, Android for smartphone but it has uh, quite a few impressive specs like uh, Snapdragon 400 quad core processor, a 1 GB of RAM, then uh, you have a pretty good display, the HD display, uh, then a decent 5 megapixel camera etc. So let's have a quick look at the, the uh, benchmarking scores. For that uh, we have installed the Antutu benchmark as well as the Cordon benchmarking apps and let's uh, go ahead and uh, test this so, so let's uh, go ahead uh, first with Antutu so now let's it's in initializing so let's um, let's uh, test again so we'll start the test uh, so it's a full test uh, so let's uh, go ahead and start the test so this might take time time based on um, the testing so let's uh, wait for the results to come So there you go, the results are uh, right now on the screen. So we'll see how uh, Moto G fares uh, with respect to the competition. So you can see here, um, uh, the Moto G is um, at uh, 17,214 the score. So it's uh, better than uh, the Google Nexus 4 and also Samsung Galaxy S2, but the uh, Nexus 4 was uh, released uh, uh, in 2012 and uh, S2 was a pretty, a pretty old phone so it's just um, below the S3 and uh, there's also a Galaxy Note 2 then above we can see Sony Xperia Z etc so it's it is in the, that bad it's a pretty good uh, score for this device because it's the pricing is really low um, for this device uh, in India it sells for around 12.5k uh, uh, for the 8GB variant and 14k for the 16GB variant so considering that this is a really good benchmarking score, score for the, this device since it runs the Snapdragon uh, 400 processor the quad core processor and also it has 1GB of RAM so it's a pretty decent uh, score for this device now let's um, go to the details uh, you can see here the details about uh, the CPU the RAM uh, the GPU performance etc now let's uh, go ahead and uh, see the quadrant scores so so we'll run that uh, full benchmarking test as well so it's now running the uh, quadrant benchmarking uh, test so cpu memory input output 2d graphics as well as 3d graphics so these are the parameters which will be tested now it's uh, finalizing the report so there you go your device so you can see here it's uh, pretty 8328 the score and it's um, higher than uh, HTC One X uh, so that's uh, that's the how the scores looks like so overall again it's a decent uh, uh, device for the specs and the pricing is uh, the most important factor of this device for this pricing it's really one of the good uh, devices to have uh, because it runs um, on a pretty good hardware so even the OS is again Android uh, 4.3 uh, Jelly Bean and uh, it's uh, the update for uh, this will be available pretty soon uh, so the 4.4 KitKat update also will be available so in that aspect as well it's a really good phone to buy so that's all in the benchmarking apps uh, so if you have any queries uh, shoot a comment and we'll be glad to help you out if you like this video hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and finally thanks for watching this video